Can forgiveness ever find a place in the face of unspeakable tragedy? On a September evening in 2009, the quiet of the Oak Cliff area in Dallas, Texas, was shattered by a bone-chilling act of violence. The lives of Lavetta Armstead and her young daughter, Jasmine Montgomery, were abruptly brought to a halt. The man behind this horrifying act, Gary Green, the estranged husband of Lavetta, his actions, driven by a relationship on the brink of collapse, sent a shockwave through the community, leaving lasting scars on the survivors. As the news spread, a chilling silence enveloped Oak Cliff. The tragedy had not just claimed two innocent lives. It had also stolen the peace of a community. Yet in the deafening silence and grief, a voice of mercy arose. In the midst of this horror, one voice stood out, that of Jasmine's father, Ray Montgomery Jr., who forgave the man who took his daughter's life. The path to this tragedy was a terrifying sequence of events. The unravelling of Gary Green's marriage to Lavetta Armstead was the beginning of this horrifying chapter. As the threads of their union began to fray, Armstead sought to annul their marriage, a decision that triggered Green's chilling response, a shocking act of violence that would echo through the quiet Oak Cliff neighbourhood, forever marring its tranquility. As the trial unfolded, Green's plea for forgiveness reverberated within the courtroom walls. I apologize for all the harm I have caused you and your family, Green stated, his voice heavy with remorse. I ask that you forgive me, not for me but for y'all. I'm fixing to go home, and y'all are going to be here. I want to make sure you don't suffer. Despite Green's plea, the courts upheld his conviction and sentence. The wheels of justice had turned, leaving behind a trail of pain and unanswered questions. Green's case opened a Pandora's box of questions about mental health and justice. Gary Green's defense team argued that his schizoaffective disorder played a significant role in his actions. They pleaded with the courts to take into consideration his documented mental illness. However, the courts denied their appeals, upholding his conviction and sentence. This stirred controversy and debate should Green's intellectual disabilities have spared him from the death penalty? It's a question that casts a harsh light on the intersection of mental health and the criminal justice system. As Green's execution date loomed closer, the controversy intensified. His deteriorating mental state became a focal point, prompting scrutiny of capital punishment's ethics. The entire ordeal underscored broader debates about mental health care within the criminal justice system. These debates are not just about Green's case, but about the countless others who may find themselves in a similar situation. As the day of execution approached, the complexities of justice were laid bare. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the survivors found a way to turn their pain into purpose. Ray Montgomery Jr., father of the young victim, became a stalwart advocate for domestic violence awareness. He committed himself to sharing his daughter's story transforming his personal anguish into a mission to prevent others from experiencing similar pain. The tragedy also underscored the crucial importance of addressing violence and mental health issues. The sequence of events leading up to the horrifying act of violence revealed a disturbing intersection of domestic strife and untreated mental illness. It highlighted the need for comprehensive mental health care, especially within the context of the criminal justice system. Moreover, the case brought to light the complexities of justice. Questions about the role of capital punishment, particularly in cases involving individuals with intellectual disabilities, sparked debates that continue to resonate today. The story of Gary Green serves as a haunting reminder of the dire consequences of unchecked violence and the complexities of justice in our society.